Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add collections to your eCatalog panel. Now, what is a collection? A collection allows you to bookmark items so you can quickly find and reuse them. For example, go to the eCatalog panel, and in the Collections pane, notice you have three system collections, currently open, recent models, and most used. The most used collection will list the items that you used the most within your last couple of sessions of using the software. The recent models collection will list the items that you've used recently. The currently open collection is very helpful if you're working with a large layout in the 3D world because it will list all the components that are open in the 3D world, whether they're deprecated or not. To give you an example, let's expand models by type, click demo layouts, and let's find a layout called pattern palletizing and packing. So drag the item into the 3D world to open the layout. And now that the layout is open in the 3D world, let's use a shortcut to select all the components. So I'll press the Control plus A key. And in the Component Properties panel, you can see that we have 97 objects right now selected. So there's 97 components in this layout. If we go to the Cell Graph panel, we can see that there's quite a lot of the same types of components. So it might be hard to tell what components are actually being used in this layout. Let's now go to our eCatalog panel select our currently open collection and we can now see the components listed here that are open in the 3D world without any duplicates so we can see there's 30 items or 30 components being used in this layout. Let's now create our first collection and bookmark some of these items. So in the collections pane click edit sources and add collections then click add collection. So this will add the collection to your collection pane and you can see it listed here so if I select it it doesn't have any items because I have not bookmarked or added any items to this collection here. So what we can do, let's collapse models by type, go back to our currently open collection, and let's add this first item here called AGB controller. So to add an item to a collection, you simply drag and drop the item onto the collection. So I'll drag the AGB controller onto the collection. Now if I select this collection, you can see I don't have any items still displayed. Now the item I just added is probably deprecated. So if I now right click, and show deprecated components, there's the item I just bookmarked to this collection. Let's see this again, so I'll go back to currently open, and let's go ahead and find some good parts. So let's go shopping, and let's say that we need a pallet dispenser. Ooh, this looks like a good one. So let's add this one and our conveyor. So I can hold down the control key and add this item to my selection, and then bookmark both items in my collection here. So if I select collection 001, there are those two items. So now I have three bookmarked items. Now if you want to rename the collection, just double click the collection. And let's type in a new name. So I'll call it my favorites. And that rename the collection. Now some of these might not be my favorite components. So to remove an item from a collection, just right click it. And then click this option here called remove. So I remove that deprecated component. So I'll right click again and clear the show deprecated components checkbox. Let's add some more components to our collection called Favorites. So I'll expand Models by Type, click Feeders, and in my tutorials I often use this Basic Feeder and this Shape Feeder. So I'll select the Shape Feeder here, I'll then scroll up, hold on the Control key and add this item to my selection, and now I'll drag both those items onto my Favorites collection, and when I click Favorites I now have those two items bookmarked so I can easily find and add them to the 3D world if I wanted to. Let's go to our conveyors, expand that and click Visual Components, and I also use this conveyor as well and some of these other ones. So let's actually just drag in the display area to multi-select some of these items and now drag them into our favorites list. So I'll just drag it from here, add them to my favorites collection, and they're now listed here. Now the last thing I want to show you in the video is how to remove a collection. So if I collapse models by type, and select favorites. You already know how to remove an item from a collection so you just right click it and then click remove. But now we want to remove this entire collection so we'll just right click it and then click delete. So notice I did not delete those components I just deleted the bookmarks and that collection. Alright this concludes the video. If you have any more questions please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com and I hope you have a wonderful day.